Hey everybody, it's Paul Goff here. So, uh, here's a question for you. What is the actual purpose of marketing, okay? Everybody knows that they need to market. Everybody wants to market. Everybody tries to market. Not everybody is successful at it. And one of the reasons that not everybody uh, is successful at marketing uh, is because very few people actually understand the true uh, deep meaning of um, running a marketing campaign. So, marketing, what's it for? It's to turn somebody into a better customer. It's not to make a sale. Uh, it's not to get money out of people in the beginning. Um, it is ultimately to turn that person into a better customer of your business. Um, when you understand that, and when you start your marketing from there, and we don't skip the essential phases that have to go into marketing, and you understand that philosophy, it becomes very easy to actually create the structure and the framework of a marketing campaign. So let me give you an example on Facebook right now. A lot of people are showing images of their clinic. They are asking people for appointments. They're giving away offers. And I get that. I like it. It's all good. But one of the problems is it skips a fundamental um, part of the journey that your patient is actually going to go on. So that even if people do arrive at your clinic with a coupon, uh, I was in a... Um, I was in a, uh, I think it was a juice caboose store yesterday in La Jolla and somebody was in the front of the queue, uh, at the front of the queue and obviously downloaded a, um, a coupon and they got 20% off their acai bowl. Good. But it's a very straightforward transaction. When it comes to a transaction for um, potentially turning somebody into a patient of your clinic who is investing in their health, who has to invest time, both time and money are hugely important in any decision that, um, that any customer has to make, it's a completely different ball game. So even though one or two people, I'm sure, around the world are experiencing some level of success with uh, coupons and offers and promotions on Facebook to get a customer. All right, good. But my question always is, what happened next? Did that person go on to become a very um, compliant patient? Did they go on to have the 10 sessions that they needed? Did they go on to become an advocate? Did they go on to tell 5, 10, 15, 20 patients? Did they take the upsell? Uh, did they show up for every session? Because ultimately, that is a huge problem in a lot of businesses, that not every patient is compliant, not every patient goes on to be an advocate, not every patient wants to pay their co-pay, not every co uh, patient wants to have the treatment that they need today because they want to wait till next month or in four months' time when the deductible looks a little bit differently. So ultimately, marketing um, is around helping somebody to become a better customer, a better client, a better patient. And if we put the right information out there and we support the journey that the patient is actually going on, which is the reason that we use Facebook, we use Facebook to put information out, to help people understand their problems. We put um, videos out there that connects with them, that resonates with them, that ultimately um, helps them understand that we get them. And that's what the role of marketing is, to turn somebody into a better customer. And we do that by helping them to understand that we get them better than anybody else. Not by trying to sell them something, not by a fancy promotion, not by a put loads of energy and time into an offer that yeah might have spitted out three or four patients at that time on that day. Ultimately, it's about a sustainable campaign that supports a patient on the journey that they go on. Their journey, remember, is negative, fearful, doubt, uh, completely uh, unsure of the future, and a world of um, fear of what actually the future holds for them, all the way over to the sunny side of the water. For example, today here in California. We wanna get people over here to California where the sun's nice, the weather's good, life's comfortable, and you can put your shorts on, you can go for a walk, and you're not worried about the wind, the rain, and the snow, and whatever else is gonna kind of come your way that day. That, in a heartbeat, is what marketing is for. It's to support the journey that your customer goes on, so that when they arrive at your practice, however long that takes, they arrive at your practice as a better patient. Now the tactical element of marketing, that's a completely different conversation. But the strategic element that I've just described, that is it. When you understand that, it is much more likely that your marketing campaigns for your physical therapy practice uh, will actually fire and spit out the type of patients that you want to do business with. Not the volume of patients, we don't need volume. We need a small number of the right patients who are happy to pay the right price for you to make the right profit that you deserve.